Hey guys, what's going on? Robin here with Oracle Rising. Uh, welcome and namaste. So I thought this would be the perfect day to talk about sun gazing because it's such a bright, beautiful, sunny day here. And you can see that my house is just starting to light up with natural um, sunlight. So I wanted to talk about sun gazing and I just recently found out about this probably within the last couple of years. So sun gazing is this is something that has been proven by scientific research. So, but with all of my subjects, I always want to recommend that you guys follow your own direction and do research on your own just to satisfy yourself that what I'm talking about is, is for real. So sun gazing is the practice of actually just looking directly at the sun and there's safer times to do this than others. Um, the best times are within an hour after sunrise or an hour before sunset and you literally just stare at the sun and if it's too bright you can shield your hand over your eyes or try squinting to help you out. So what you should do is sit there uh, without using eyewear and it's not good enough just to sit in your living room and look out the window or go sit in your car and look through the windshield or something like that. You should not be using any sort of filtration um, like a, a pane of glass or contacts or your glasses or sunglasses because it defeats the purpose. So some of the benefits of sun gazing are that it strengthens your immune system, it decreases your stress, uh, it promotes clearer thinking. Uh, you have greater feelings of joy. Uh, it activates the pineal gland, reduces hunger, and increases your perception of other dimensions. And I find all of these are particularly important. Um, you know, your immune system is what protects you from getting sick. So if you can have a natural and free way of going ahead and strengthening your immune system, then why not do it? And not to mention that it's extremely relaxing sitting in the sun and doing a meditation or do your yoga or whatever, but just take that time out to like really look at the sun head on. And remember, again, you can shield your eyes or try squinting. So decreasing stress, I mean, who doesn't want less stress in their life, am I right? And also taking that time out to just sit in nature or your yard or on your balcony or wherever to eliminate stress in your life because stress is something that can make you sick. It can make you anxious. You know, it's just stress is not good for the human body. It, absolutely, you can, anything you can do to eliminate stress, I'm all for it, right? Clearer thinking. What if you could see your path in a certain sharpness? You know, and I, I love this, to be able to not confuse yourself or take in other people's energies and really just see your own path from A to Z, you know, clearly. So this one I love is the greater feelings of joy. And I find this, you know, if when people go on vacation and they typically go for something where, well, me anyway, where there's a beach, you know, where there's lots of sun, and you just feel so happy. You know, it's got more to do than being away from home and taking a break from work. It's because the sun is energizing you and you're just soaking up all that natural sunlight. Um, I live in a bit of a flight path here, so I'm gonna try not to mute if a plane goes over, but if it's too bad, like if it's really loud, I'll mute it. Uh, I'll go on pause. So the greater feelings of joy, just from sitting in the sun, um, and soaking that up and, and letting the rays go through your um, your eyes is so easy and free. So activating the pineal gland, you guys, is something I like to talk about a lot. This is something that will heighten your intuition. Um, you know, do your own research on the pineal gland. Some people are really afraid of um, the pineal gland and opening the third eye, but I'm all about it because it does uh, aid in your intuition. So reducing hunger. I don't know if you guys have ever seen how people like they fast for three, five, seven, fourteen 14 days. Um, 
this is going to be something that will help you with your fast, you know, because there's something about the sun and the sun gazing and there's a whole scientific explanation on that um, that will help reduce your hunger. And this is how gurus, I saw the other day somebody passed away and he was a guru and I, they said that he hadn't eaten for like 70 years and I was like, <laughs> wow, I can't, I can't even go seven hours without turning into a version of myself that is you know, pretty unattractive. So um, reducing hunger, if you're trying to fast, just remember that sun gazing can really benefit you and aid you getting through those first couple of days if you're going for an extended fast, because there are downfalls to fasting. You can get really irritable. Um, you can get extremely tired, like the hunger pains. Like I wasn't kidding when I said I can't fast. Like I just, I get hangry, uh, I'm not myself. Um, <laughs> so I've tried to fast before and I was like, oh, I just can't even do this. So I ended up like almost breaking my toaster because I ate half a loaf of bread afterwards. I thought it was hilarious. So, and this, the increasing the perception of other dimensions. So the human eyesight and the human hearing can only perceive a, a certain level of the spectrum of what is going on around us, right? So there's other dimensions going on. There's other beings living around us, you know, angels, spirits, um, you know, your friends and family that are very close to the veil. And some people are able to communicate with other dimensions very, very easily because they do sun gazing and it does strengthen the ability to see other dimensions and, you know, just open up, like blow your world wide open. So I think that's really cool. So the optimum time, you guys, 10 to 20 minutes is enough. You know, um, you don't want to burn your eyeballs out. Uh, you know, just be careful. If this is something new to you, do your own research and find something that's really comfortable. You might want to ease on into it. Do a couple minutes every day until you can get up to that 20 minute limit if that's what you're looking for. And... If you're in a place that's really cloudy, like I used to live in Vancouver in British Columbia, it wasn't always very sunny there. Um, you know, and right now I live in Manitoba and we have really short days in the winter. So, I mean, getting up for that sun, sunrise or catching the sunset can be pretty impossible because the days are so short. And meanwhile, I'm not going to go outside for 10 minutes when it's minus 40, but that's a whole different story. So what do you do if there's no sunlight available for you to go and sit in? So there's a sun gazing frequency. It You know, everything emits a frequency, everything. So I found this sun gazing frequency on YouTube and I found one that really worked for me and I'll play it in the background. Um, you know, if I'm working or just sometimes if I'm watching TV, yes, I watch TV. Um, I'll have the sun gazing frequency going on in the background so that I, I can benefit from it. So really check this stuff out, you guys. It can really improve your health. It can improve your cognitive health, you know, reduce your stress and do all kinds of amazing, wonderful things for your body. Not to mention just being outside and enjoying a break that you really deserve and getting back in touch with nature. So guys, I hope this was really helpful for you. I really like to bring subjects to the table that can, you know, just assist you in being the, the best that you can be. And if you guys ever want to see me talk about something, just put it in the comments or send me an email. My email address is down below in the description box. Or, you know, let me know and I'll research it out and I'll give you my take on it. And then everybody's welcome to, like I said, explore your own options. So guys, I'm about to go sit outside with my dog and enjoy the beautiful day here. And I hope you do the same. Namaste. Take care. Bye.